Hello and welcome to part 3 of the WRC Rally Cross Championship on PlayStation 2. Quick recap of the previous four races. Didn't go too well for me. Only six points out of a possible 20 due to misfortune particularly in Turkey and also in Cyprus and also in Sardinia. But I did win last time out in Greece. I sit on 16 points third in the championship now because Petter Solberg has been driving very well. He's now on 18, but not as well as Sebastian Loeb. He leads with 26 points. Armin Schwarz is on 11 points as we move on to Argentina. Did you know you should always listen to your co-driver? His pace notes will make you faster on a new stage and you'll avoid crashing. Absolutely. Absolutely listen to your co-driver. Otherwise, you'll crash. Right. Argentina is horrible. I don't like the surface here because it can suddenly snap. Very nervous on the rear end as we go through what looks like a mimic of the New Zealand stage and Schwarz and Solberg hitting the wall there. But be careful you don't do that too many times because there is a massive cliff on the outside as I take third position off of Schwarz who just shunts into the back of me. Dirty driving there. Right, not for the first time this season. Must go back on charge. As we hit terminal velocity, just short of 100 miles an hour. That's slow in this game's standards. As we whack into the fence, go through a little village, go through a gate, into a junction, which went out very well for me. Careful out on the outside though, there is a dirty little cliff, as the screen changes colour. That is, that is, that is within the game. And it spins randomly round. Nice 360, but that is exactly what I'm on about, with regard to the racing surface just randomly spins. I don't like Argentina. Brake ridiculously late and sideways into the junction and that was not too bad through there. But I'm miles behind them. Through the jump, flat out. And that's 101 miles an hour this time. So a little bit quicker than I thought it would. And that was way too quickly into there. Another 360. Pirouette through the village gate. Found the second gear for the final corner. Don't know who's leading, they're all way out in the distance. It's fast, but the gearing's way too short. And same corner again! Piece of shit car. Pretty obvious I'm going to finish last. But who's going to finish first? I'd ideally want it to be Schwarz to make the championship a little bit closer. Over the jump. Terminal velocity 102 miles an hour. Oh, right into the rock. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. If that was flat out, I'd be, or the game flat out, I'd be flying through the windscreen. Big long drift. Lovely drift, but once again, not a good race. So who's won that one? Let's find out as the screen comes up. It was Petter Solberg who took that one. Sebastian Loeb taking second position, the ever consistent Loeb. Schwarz third and me irrelevant. Look at that gap again. I was 13 seconds behind the next driver. That's appalling. Let's hope I get a better luck in Finland. Home race for Gronholm. Yep. Near Kohu circuit. Concept cars are unavailable in rallycross mode due to the performance differences between each car. Well, that's a shame. 
Finland, often regarded as one of the fastest rallies of the championship. This one is particularly quick. Two, one. And he's completely missed the shift there as we start this race. In between the lakes. Whatever the finish for in between the lakes is, as I'm leaning on Schwartz going through the first corner. I think he's going to try and lean on me. I wish I had a bit more space as I push him off. Yep, yeah, that's him dealt with. Now as I try and chase Loeb and Solberg as we go weaving in between the forests of Finland, the Yavaskala region. Not sure whereabouts in Finland that is as the car's trying to step away from me and it has done. And Schwarz has clattered into me for no reason at all. Well, here we go again. Run quickly through there. Break down the fourth gear for this long... It's still a left. I think it's just one big corner and then a couple of rights just to start and end. I can see Solberg and Loeb battling away in the distance. But Schwarz is my immediate concern. This is one of my better gravel rallies, this one. Because the corners are quite quick. Ugh, Schwarz is again trying to take... Oh, you prick. Oh, dearie me. Oh, I'm just going to have to go for it. To a left is a slight right, actually, so this extremely long left is interrupted by a right halfway through. That's the right, and now back to all the lefts. There is... there's Solberg in front of me. So something's happened to him. Cut the inside. Oh dear, sorry about that, Petter. <laughs> but I am in a bad mood. Because I've had three last places in this championship, and I don't want any more. Make four last places in this championship. I really don't want any more. As I'm chasing after Schwarz, I believe that is. It is indeed. And there is Loeb somewhere in front of us. Again, the gearing's a bit too short for this circuit. Car's trying to step out from me there. I think I can get a second position out of this. Yes, I have indeed. There's Schwarz. I've dealt with him. Break a verb a little bit going into this one. There's Loeb right in front of me. That was a good line through there. I think Loeb has got this one though. Really chucked it into there. I'm close, but I'm not close enough. But I'm back in the ascendancy. Sebastian Loeb won that one. And Schwarz was in third position and a no score for Peter Solberg. And he was nearly seven seconds behind Loeb in the end, so something happened to him on the second lap and I'm not sure what. Right, this next one is one of my favourites because we are heading back on to Tarmac for the Peterberg circuit. Very interesting shape, this one. Slightly phallic. Rallycross offers a welcome break from the usual point-to-point -point stages you get elsewhere. These stages are purpose-built looped tracks where you can test your skills against three other drivers. Yes, I know that. I've been doing that for the past... 10 races. Pure tarmac, this is always a specialty of lobes. As we go onto the motorway or autobahn. And big sideways into the first corner. Which is a very long right. Don't cut too much. And Loeb and Solberg having a bit of argy bargy there. And that's put me into second position. Schwarz taking the inside route, oddly enough. And that's going to cost him a bit. That's a bit too ambitious for me. 
still a long right. But it's a bit shorter than Finland. Now then, back straight. Looking for the inside line. Now switch to the outside. Oh dear, that's that was that was weird. But I've taken the lead. Schwarz still in second. And Loeb, I think, was crossing in third. He's reset, so Loeb has had another incident with Solberg. And that's not good for the championship leader. Nice and planted through here. That's how I like it. Drifting to the outside, and now back once again for the long right with a slight left in between. Must remember to shift gears too quick into there, but it's alright. And I'm miles ahead of the others. So this is a more simpler one. I wonder where... I did check where those signs go to, but I've forgotten. If I've got a big enough lead, I might show you. There's Schwarz in a long way in second position. There's Solberg and Loeb still battling away. Now nah, I want this win. I'll find out afterwards. And I'll post it in a caption below. Bing! There it is. There was one particular rally I remember where Petter Solberg started a stage, ran a bit wide on a greasy surface and slammed into a Hinkelstein, which is basically a tank trapper, big concrete blocks on the outside, and it was a pretty massive scary shunt for him. Like the car was crumpled. But I've got a win! My first one since Greece and my third of the season. Schwarz takes second position. And the battling Solberg and Loeb, separated by just two tenths at the end, 20 seconds behind, and in the favour of Loeb. So he gets a point, Solberg gets a non. Yep, that's correct. Nice and easy. On to the next one, which will be in Wales. Rally GB. For the breakfast stage. Gonna need your breakfast for this one. And did you know that the online mode allows you to compete against up to 15 other players across any stage in the game? Lovely, although as this game is 15 years ago, I doubt the online mode will exist. So here we go. Oh, here we go. Nice Welsh forest. Into a steep uphill left for the first corner. Which is still going. And, oh, I've been put into a spin by Schwarz again. He doesn't like me for some reason. Uphill right. This is a very short one, this. Oh, again, he's, he wants to play dodgems with me. Now then, there's a big split here. I'm going to follow Loeb. Get it right into fifth gear immediately. Oh, oh, oh dear. And I've, that was, that's, that's gone well for me, actually, despite that. I'm in the lead somehow. And on to lap two. Down to third gear for this one. Looks like it's about to rain, which for Wales is absolutely no surprise. Over the bridge. Where are the others? That's Schwarz behind me again. So that really cost Sebastian Loeb and Petter Solberg, did that little fracas. There's an ambulance on the side waiting for... Oh, that was horrible amounts of understeer. I'm going to cross over here, like scale electric. And... Oh, whack. But that's not gone too badly for me. There's Schwarz. Final lap, and I'm still in the lead. Keep it together for this last lap, and I'm back on form once again. So through the uphill right, it's a very, very steep downhill section when it does the track split and crossover. I think that is probably the best route to go, if we go 
to the outside and then we cross over here because it's the straightest line possible and then depending on where you want to go I think this is probably the quickest route slamming into the fence like that once again but another win that's my that is my fourth I think Schwarz will be in second once again indeed he is and this time around it's Solberg who takes third and a very big field spread as well so that's the end of Wales and the end of part three it'll be the final four races of the championship next starting off with Japan then to Corsica then Barcelona for the Catalonian rally Spain in other words and then the final one Australia stay tuned and see you soon